Out of all the available eight note scales, there are four that I most want to focus on for It's All Good in Theory Course 2. And they are these ones. The major, the minor, also called the Aeolian, the Dorian, and the Muxolydian. When you study those four scale types, you'll start to hear them everywhere in pop music. And so that is one of the reasons why those are going to be our four scales to really focus on of the eight note scale varieties. So let's work out a way in which we can remember how these scales move around the clock. So we're going to use C major and a chromatic clock as our tools. So let's get our clock set up. We'll put C at the top and I'll just use sharps this time, because as you'll see soon, the sharps are going to disappear anyway. Right, the C major scale, if we look on the keyboard here, by the way, if you ever want to find a C on a keyboard, just go for round about the centre of the keyboard and you should find it. Uh, C is the note that is immediately to the left of the pair of black notes and you'll see them repeated up and down the keyboard. So here's a C or a lower C. La. And we know that with C major we use all the white keys. Which means I can now remove these steps from my clock. I'm going to remove C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. So now instead of showing all the available semitones, this chromatic clock shows a C major scale. So let's look at the step pattern that we use. It's root, then two to the D, two to the E, one to the F, two to the G, two to the A, two to the B, and then one to the C again. Right, let's take the C major scale and start it not from the note C, but from the note A. So if that's my C, C, D, E, F, G, A, and I'll take it down an octave. A, two to the B, one to the C, two to the D, Two to the E, one to the F, two to the G, and two to the A. That makes a sound that you may be familiar with. That makes the minor scale, also called the Aeolian. Now, what's useful about this is that Aeolian starts with A. So let's remember that if we start... this circle of notes from A, we make an Aeolian mode, so or a minor, a natural minor is what we call it. So let's look at the step pattern for that. I'll just reset my A. A root two one two two one two two so if I go around the circle from A to A, 
and I look at whether I make steps of twos, which are also called tones, and steps of one, which are also called semitones, I can tell what my step pattern is for an aeolian or minor. Let's now take the same group of notes and we're going to start from D. So if that was my A, A, B, C, D, there's my D. We'll go D, 2 to the E, 1 to the F, 2 to the G, 2 to the A, 2 to the B, 1 to the C, and 2 to the D. That makes the sound of the Dorian mode. And again, by total coincidence, the word Dorian starts with a D, as does the note that we start on in this case to make a D Dorian out of our notes here on this clock. So I'm going to write Dorian. So I know that if I go from D through to D and I observe the twos and ones, I'm going to make a, a Dorian pattern. So reset my D. So the Dorian mode steps like this. Root, two, one, two, 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 one, two. So now I've got my three scales placed. Three out of the four. C major, starting on C. Dorian, starting on D. Aeolian, starting on A. The last one I want to place of these four is the Mixolydian. And uh, where do I put the Mixolydian? Where does that start? Well, G, I don't know. G, let's give it a go. Where's my G? So that's the Mixolydian mode.